In this lesson, I want to explain how to uh, activate motion blur. That is a blur for uh, the object that has an animation. You can see the motion blur in a real life. For example, in this situation, uh, <clears throat> we have a this ball that are bouncing to the ground. And as you can see, it has a movement and we want to blur. For example, we render it from here, Control R. As you can see, it's not very natural because we have some blurness in around that if you have an animation. For simulating that, we need an, of course, animated object. And after that, you can simply double click on any folder, any object that has an animation. This is for blurring the motion object. You can simply activate motion blur on and don't change it. Sub frame motion blur is a new one. If you deactivate it, as you can see, these are most useful and easiest way to changing the motion blur setting. But this is an oldest version of mm, settings of the motion blur that's very confusing and it's hard to achieve in your goal. But if you activate a new a sitting subframe motion blur, you can uh, um, play with the three understandable settings that are very easy. So if you just activate, it does its work best. And as you can see, nice, we have our motion blur. <clears throat> Interesting. The frame percentage. This is actually the power of your Blur. For example, if you make it to the 10, this is a power of how blurring. As you can see, we have a little blurry of our objects. So the percentage is a, um, how powerful that blur is going on. And the frame count. So you can, for example, increase or decrease a lower number. You can see the blur. As you can see, the, this software is animating the frame before and frame after five frame before five frame after that and they're combining to each other and make a blur so if you decrease the number of that you can see that blurs be careful about frame counts if you um, if you have more number we have a smoother motion blur but the rendering uh, it's, 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 we have a time consuming render because it's for each frame it has to for example 20 uh number frame has to be rendered and take two to time uh extended frame you can increase the higher number to that and it's extended the frames as you can see the render render here is extended it's extending the previous frames if you want you can uh, create such an interesting thing Okay, I don't want to explain them because they are very time consuming and confusing settings. Just activate some uh, frame motion and do your render. Nice. This is simple motion blur. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.